Making good decisions is a huge part of creating a successful life for yourself. But knowing how to make good decisions can be difficult. Luckily, we can all develop our ability to make successful choices. In this video, we'll give you 10 practical tips that'll help you make better decisions in both your professional and private life. 1. Check in with yourself. The first thing you should do when it comes to making a big decision is to take the time to check in with yourself. Ask yourself the right questions that are relevant to the decision you're grappling with. Determine how you feel and what you want at this moment, and think about what you'd like to achieve. Making sure you reflect thoroughly on who you are and what you want will help you commit to the right choices. 2. Use both the logical and emotional side of your brain. When you're making a big decision, make sure that you utilize both the rational left side of your brain and the right side of your brain which is focused on emotional intelligence. You need to strike the balance between emotion and logic to land on the right choice for you. If you make a decision only with your head, your heart might not be in it, and it likely won't work out for you. If you base a decision solely on how you feel about it, without taking logic and reason into account, you'll likely also end up regretting your choice. So when it comes to making a big decision, make sure to use both sides of your brain. Three. Talk to yourself like you're speaking to a good friend. If you're stuck on a decision, think outside the box. It's a great idea to talk to yourself as though you were talking to a trusted friend. Imagine that one of your close friends is struggling with the decision you're currently making. What advice would you give them? What makes sense to you now that you've got some distance between yourself and the issue at hand? Is there a decision that would objectively be best? There's a lot to learn from looking at a situation from a different angle. A lot of the time, answers will come easier when you take yourself out of your own shoes and think about how you could help your friend if they were in this situation. 4. Visualize the future you want. A great tool for decision making is to visualize what you want in your future. In your mind's eye, imagine that you've achieved everything you want. Your future self is successful and happy. Consider how you got there. How would the decision you're making now play into the goals you have for your future? Visualizing your own success is a really important technique that can not only help you stay focused, but also make sure you stay grounded in your goals and motivation. Each choice you make should help you get that much further ahead on your path to success. 5. Take your time. Don't try to rush a big decision. If you're stuck and not sure what to do, create some distance between you and the issue. Why not get out of the house and get out of your head and go for a walk or a long hike in nature to clear your head? As soon as you get some space to think things through, the right decision might just come to you. Rushing a huge decision is a terrible idea, since you likely won't be able to fully think it through, which will likely lead to the decision not being the right one for you. Make sure you take enough time to consider your option and make the best choice for you and your future. 6. Go with your gut. Often, there is a reason why you have a strong gut feeling about something. It's because you instinctively know what you should and shouldn't do. Even though decisions are complicated, whether it's within business or your personal life, a lot of the time it's recommended to trust your gut impulse. So if you ever find yourself wavering between different options, your instinct and intuition is a very important decision-making tool that can help you reach the best decision for you. If you're deeply uncertain about a choice, it might be a good idea to sit still for a while. Try to clear your mind of all the pros and cons related to the decision, and just try to tap into how you're truly feeling about it. Scientists have proved that intuition is a very real thing. And research has showed that the way our instincts work is on a visceral level first, meaning we know what our instincts are telling us before our consciousness has actually caught up. 7. Don't let other people tell you what to do. When we're grappling with a tough decision, it's a very normal response to ask people around us what they recommend. Whether it's your parents, your partner, friends, co-workers, or your manager, we often want the advice of the people around us to help us make decisions. Getting other people's advice can be a great idea, but make sure you do it right. Don't let someone else overpower your own thoughts with their beliefs on what you should do. Your decision is your own to make, and no one else should be influencing you too much. After all, it relates to your life and your future. Keep in mind that other people's advice, even though it might be well-intended, can be harmful to you. 
What is right for one person can be totally wrong for the next. So you need to make sure that your decision is what you want to do and that you're not making a choice just because someone else thinks it's the best idea for you. Eight, don't be afraid to leave your comfort zone. Don't make decisions that stem from fear and insecurity. Human beings like what we're used to, what's comfortable, and what feels familiar. But great things often happen outside of your comfort zone. And you don't want to get stuck in what feels comfortable for you and not reach beyond. Many of us make bad decisions because we're grown accustomed to our habits and what we normally do. And we want to stay in that space of familiarity and safety. Even if it's scary, try to step as far outside your comfort zone as you can. Take risks and reach your potential. 9. Quick decisions can be great. Generally, snap decisions are considered a bad idea. The idea behind it is that we don't have time to weigh up all of our options in a careful, considered way and make a thoughtful decision in such a short space of time. However, sometimes you need to not overthink it. If a decision comes to you really fast, it could be the right option for you and you shouldn't second guess it just because you got there quickly. In fact, studies have shown that people's snap decisions are often correct since the instinctive choice people make is often accurate. 10. Don't be afraid of the consequences. When you have a big decision to make, try not to worry too much about the consequences. Are you interested in applying for a new promotion at your company, but know that your coworkers would be jealous if you got the promotion and don't want to cause ill will? Do you want to get divorced, but you're afraid of what your families will think? These considerations can lead you to avoiding pushing for what you need and want out of fear of the consequences of your decisions. Don't be afraid of what comes after your decision. As long as you've made the right choice for you, that's all that matters. We hope you've enjoyed this video listing 10 ways that you can make better decisions. Remember, if you have passion and work hard, you can accomplish anything. And good decision making is a big piece of the puzzle. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channels for more videos like this.